I love my chicken's legs, they're so cute. But you know what, if they get something called scaly leg mite, their legs are not cute and it's actually can be really painful and bothersome to them. So let's talk about how to very easily treat it quickly. Okay, this is Thumbelina and she is not happy. I'm gonna put her down, I'm gonna put you down, honey. Oh, goodness. Hello friends, welcome to Chickenlandia. My name is Dahlia, I'm a backyard chicken educator, also known as the president of Chickenlandia. Raising chickens has been the best way for me to find peace and joy in my life, and I wanna help you find that too. If I were a superhero, scaly leg mite would be my nemesis. I absolutely hate it. I have dealt with it more times than I want to admit because I have rescued chickens. And if you bring in chickens from other places, you're more likely to have dealt with this issue. So if that's what's going on with you right now, if you are dealing with scaly leg mite, then my heart absolutely goes out to you because it is difficult to deal with. Okay, so the, the super fancy name for scaly leg mite, and I hope I get this right, <laughs> is Nemino... <laughs> Nemodocoptes mutans. Okay, that's a scientific name. They are these microscopic parasites that burrow under the scales of your chicken's legs. A scaly leg mite doesn't normally kill a chicken, but it can make them very uncomfortable. It can be painful to them, and if it's left for too long, it can actually deform their legs and their toes and just be really uncomfortable to them. Scaly leg mite can live in the ground, it can live in your coop, it can live on your roosts. It can come from chickens that you bring into your flock or it can come from wild birds. And it is highly contagious. So if you bring in one chicken with it, it's very likely that it will affect several members of your flock. But I, I'm telling you, I have dealt with this so many times. I've tried many different treatments and I have discovered one very easy, very quick treatment. This is really gonna knock it out and it doesn't require that much work from you. Now I'm gonna show you two different treatments. The first one is the easy one. This is what you would use if you have chickens that have a mild case of scaly leg mite. One thing I want you to know is that when you treat your chickens for scaly leg mite, <laughs> Um, all the treatments will cause your chickens to get very dirty because they, it either requires like an ointment type of substance or an oil type of substance. And those things stay on your chicken and it collects dirt. Don't worry about that. You know, you're bringing them back to health. So don't worry about them getting dirty. Just do what you need to do. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is go to Costco or Walmart or wherever you go to get cheap groceries and get yourself a big cheap bottle of vegetable oil. Now this can be like canola oil, it could be corn oil. Um, this is just like generic vegetable oil. It's probably like soy oil and like canola oil. <laughs> Stuff that I actually don't cook with, but it is great for treating scaly leg mite. Just get something cheap. It does not have to be anything expensive. The next thing I want you to do is get yourself either a big bowl or a bucket. And what you're going to do is you are going to fill the bucket with the vegetable oil enough so that you can dip your chicken's legs in this all the way up to their bodies. Now this is in the middle of the day because I'm out here filming and I want you to actually see what I'm doing, but the easiest way for you to treat them is to wait until nighttime when they are on the roost, the sun has gone down completely, and bring your bucket of oil into the coop and pluck them off the roost and treat them at night. I will wipe them off with a very gentle baby wipe just to get the dirt off of their legs. Uh, you could use like a microfiber cloth or just a regular cloth. You, want, you don't want there to be a ton of dirt on their legs. And dip them into the oil all the way up to their, I don't know, hips? Did you get hips? <laughs> you, what you wanna do is get all of their legs into the oil. And what this does is it suffocates the mites. That's what you wanna do. You wanna suffocate the mites with the oil. Now I wanna stress something here. People will suggest using literal gasoline on their chickens. So dipping their chickens legs in gasoline. And the reason why people justify this is because it will kill the eggs and it will kill the mites instantly and it will only take one treatment. 
I am definitely not uh, for that. I am, I am against that. <laughs> it's not healthy for your chickens. It's not healthy for you. It's just, don't put gasoline on your chickens, okay? This is such an easier alternative and it's perfectly safe and natural. So just do this instead. So there's a little bit more I wanna tell you about the duration of this treatment, but first I want to explain to you what you need to do if you have a chicken that has a severe case of scaly leg mite. If it's severe, you will know it. Their feet will be deformed, they will be in obvious pain, they won't move around a lot, they won't be able to peck and scratch a lot. Their toenails can get way too long because they haven't been able to peck and scratch and you can tell that they're uncomfortable. If this is the case, you need to take that chicken or chickens that has a severe case and remove them from your flock, put them inside in a place where they can hang out and rest and you're gonna treat them a little bit differently. In this case, I will get A and D ointment. It's really soothing for their legs and feet and it's healing and it can help with infection. Slather it on their legs. And if you are someone that is open to homeopathics, which I do like to use homeopathics, I would use the homeopathic Arnica in a 30 C potency. And I would give them a couple of pellets of that in their water every day until they start to improve. Once they start to improve, you can start stop dosing. But that can help with some of the pain and some of the swelling. If you're not into homeopathics, just use the A and D ointment and you're gonna see a lot of improvement probably pretty quickly unless there is a severe secondary infection. If that's the case, you might need to seek veterinary help. Now, the one thing that I really wanna warn you not to do, you know, whether they have a mild case or a severe case, do not scrub their legs to get the to get the raised scales off. You can injure them, you can introduce a secondary infection, and it can be painful to them. So don't don't worry about their raised scales. You know, sometimes they don't go completely down even after they've been treated. Sometimes they will go back to normal after they molt. But sometimes their whole life they have a little bit of, you know, just scales that don't look all that great and that's okay. So the duration of the treatment needs to be about two weeks long. That coincides with the life cycle of these parasites. So you want to kill the existing parasites and then when the new ones hatch, you wanna get those too. If you are using A and D ointment, reapply it every few days for 14 days. They should be right as rain after that. If not, you may need to seek some additional treatment from a veterinarian if you are able to do that. If you wanna be extra careful, once they're done with their treatment, a week later, you can treat them one more time, okay? Just to be extra sure that all the mites are gone. But usually a two week treatment is gonna be enough. When you find scaly leg mites, make sure that you clean their coop out really well. And you might wanna go and get some mite spray from the farm store or order some online and spray their roosts down. You know, it's the best treatment is prevention. Now, if you never wanna see scaly leg mite, you will not want to bring new chickens into your flock. I, I actually live in an area where scaly leg mite is very rampant. It's just, it likes kind of wet areas like where I live in the Pacific Northwest. To me, it's worth it to risk getting some scaly leg mite into my flock because I rescue chickens and I I will quarantine chickens but even so I've ended up with it so it happens so if you have a chicken that has it really bad and you bring them inside I want you to do something called the rest method it's a protocol of what to do when you have a sick chicken that really needs to come inside for some TLC it's very simple and guess what I have a video that explains all about it. It's right here and it's 100% friendly backyard chickens, education and entertainment. And I know you're gonna love it. Mm -hmm.